Hi, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Today we're going to have a look at the Yaystar S20 phone system and configuring uh, SIP trunks on there. Now, what's really great about the S20 is not only that it's price and it's really great for small and medium-sized businesses, up to 20 phones. You can also plug in legacy TELUS, Bell, Shaw phone lines. And so there's a special card you plug in and you can put up to four phone lines, which is all you need for a, a, a normal uh, business, small business. Uh, so you can put in legacy lines. It's a great price. Uh, and SIP trunks as well. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. If you need a SIP trunk, we do have 30-day uh, SIP trunks that we can issue out to you for free. Find out the information at the end of the video. Or if you're looking for this uh, particular unit, we've got kits online uh, with coupons at the end of the video. Uh, check out our store, buyphonesonline.ca. Let's jump in and see how this is done. Hi, I'm Dar with the uh, Helia Technology Report, and we are looking at configuring SIP trunks. So, uh, we're going to go into settings, we're going to go into trunks, and you can see here I've got FXO uh, ports in here already. We usually deploy the S20 with FXO ports, and you can see the lights here are blinking. That means there's uh, each one of these ports has an FXO in it. So that's what we see here, but we're going to add in a SIP trunk as well. So we're going to click Add, and this is really easy to do. We choose SIP, provider name, Heliotel. If you don't have a provider, check out Heliotel.ca, and uh, we can get you a demo trunk for 30 days so you can try it out and make a few uh, phone calls. Uh, you can also email us at support at Helia.ca uh, for those uh, trunks. SBC2, now only in Canada, we only... Uh, we're focused on the uh, Canadian uh, customers. So if you're lucky enough to be in Canada, terrific. Now username here, uh, domain, that's an odd one. Hold on here. Uh, domain name. Well, that I'm going to say is sbc2.heliotel.ca again. Username in this case, and then the authentication password. Uh, authentication name is the same, AO. And then we want to make sure that there is a password in here as well. So let's put that in here. Okay, proxy server, we don't need that. And now we choose save. Now, in addition to that, uh, I'm just going to refresh my screen to make sure it has registered itself. Hmm. Okay, and in addition to that, what we also need to do is set up our outbound routes. So, what we need to do, call control. And then we have our inbound routes. So this is default route in. We're going to edit that. And in addition to the FXO ports, we're going to add in this new uh, SIP uh, trunk as well to receive uh, calls. Okay. Now, destination. When a call comes in, uh, we generally don't like it to go to an IVR. It should ring all phones first, which is what this default group does. And uh, and then after it goes and it rings all of uh, all of the groups, then that's when we want to go and uh, uh, sorry, that's when we want to go into an IVR. So if the call group, the ring group, does not reach uh, anyone, and so it's after 60 seconds here, that's way too long. We're going to say 20 seconds, which is also super long. Uh, 15 seconds would even be better. And then if uh, no one picks up the call after 20 seconds, what it says here is it's going to hang up. And that's, of course, not good. We're going to go to the IVR, which is the, hello, thanks for calling my company. If you know the extension, please dial it now. So that's where it's going to send to for all inbound calls. Now, the other thing we need to do is outbound calls. What, what happens when we have outbound calls? So this is the dial pat pattern here. For, uh, we're going to add in Heliotel uh, for an outbound route. And this basically says all numbers that start with a digit. So that's kind of irrelevant. We're going to delete that rule. 
and we're going to add some new ones here. So the first one we're going to do is it starts with a 1 and then a number uh, between 2 and uh, 9 because phone numbers in North America do not start with uh, a 1 or a 0 unless it's, it's long distance and that's why we have the 1 in there. So then it's 1 uh, and then uh, 2 through 9 then 2 more digits and then 3 more digits and then 4 more digits. And so that's an 11 digit long distance phone number and so we're going to add another one in for numbers that do not start with a 1. So that's going to be starting with uh, a digit 2 through 9, then two more digits, that which is the area code, and then uh, 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's a 10-digit number. And uh, with Hewley Tell, all numbers uh, get are, are 11 digits, so with 10-digit numbers, we're going to add a 1 in front of it. Now, uh, everything else is good here. We're going to click Save. And so now we've got two of them in here. We're going to click Save, Apply as well. And now we're going to be able to dial out and, uh, and receive calls in as well. Uh, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Find other great videos on setting up the A-Star S20 phone systems on our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash Healy Canada. Also, great deals on packages for the A-Star uh, S20 phone system. Check out our online store www.buyphonesonline.ca and you can find a coupon at the end of this video. I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Thanks for watching.